Hello, it's Phil Thatch and Heather and I are out here on the back porch. And if you've seen a lot of my videos, you may recognize this branch that's attached to the porch from when this is the bird studio. That's a branch from that peach tree right over there. Um, but today we are here and we're hanging out on the back porch with Heather's dog, Libby, a dog who I call Tubbs. And uh, she's just the sweetest thing. And she had a some sort of something growing on a paw, so she had to have a little surgery to have that removed. And now she's in the cone of shame. And she's super cute in the cone of shame. And I thought uh, while she was out here, and, and it's a nice cloudy afternoon, so we got a, a natural softbox going on, I thought I might get my Z6 and FTZ adapter and 24-70 f2.8 G lens and take some photos of her using the animal eye detect autofocus, pet eye detect autofocus, dog and cat specifically, uh, that Nikon came up with in firmware version three. So I've got the camera set to uh, 1 250th of a second and f2.8. I've got ISO automatic. And actually I may speed that up just a little. Yeah, I can go all the way up to 1 500th of a second and still stay at, at 100. He must be running firmware version 3.0 as shown here and have animal detection autofocus turned on in menu section A4. Focus mode must be set to auto area AF as shown here. With these three things, I detect autofocus will function on your Z6 or Z7. So I'm just gonna start right now because there she is, <laughs> laying on the floor in the cone of shame. I'm using the next to fastest drive mode, which is really slow. The fastest drive mode on this camera is like 10 frames a second. And I didn't want to have 500,000 pictures to go through. I love on the Z6 how you can look into the EVF to review a picture. That's one of my favorite features about a mirrorless camera and right now she is just really oh well so much for that idea i thought she was going to stay down there if she does i'm going to get the camera down on her level hmm. she she sticks her tongue out and just kind of leaves it and it makes it look like a piece of ham hanging out of her mouth or something. It's crazy. But she's cute. And she's fun to take pictures of, especially when she's in this cone of shame because it's humorous to me for some reason. But she, uh, she handles it pretty well. I mean, she runs into everything with it. But she, uh, she doesn't complain about it. She just does her best to make it work. And I'm just using the back button focus and the camera is putting the focus point right on her eye, just exactly where I would want it. I always keep the level on my screen so I can kind of help to get the composition right. Most of these are at 70 millimeters. Here's a couple of shots that I made during that first little session and you know, she was so cute walking around on the back porch, and then when I went inside and got my camera, she just laid right down, which a lot of times it's kind of hard to get a picture of her laying down like this because it's inside and not much light. But outside on the back porch, I could get a pretty decent picture of her just laying down and chilling like bulldogs often do. They're not the most active dogs in the world. But I got to thinking I would like for her to move around some more. Heather suggested that if I go get a treat, that she would perk up. Be careful what you ask for. Oh, now you're active. Now you're moving around. You like the treat idea, huh? Okay. Oh, look, I don't think you're supposed to be jumping up right now, doggy. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that right now. I better go ahead and give this to you. There you go. 
Oh, I ran into my stick. <laughs> so these next two photos were taken before she started going crazy, but her tongue was already going crazy looking at that treat I was holding in my hand. She was licking her chops, as they say, and uh, I like this shot, even though she's framed by a cone. You can see her toes. This is uh, when she wasn't licking. She <laughs> looks like she was really smiling at me and more than me smiling at the treat that I had to give to her. During this third and final session, uh, Heather was not running the video camera because she was helping me get the dog in place. I thought it would be nice to get Libby to stand right in front of the azalea bush there that's behind her. I thought that might make a nice portrait of the dog. And this time I was trying to do a full body shot instead of just her head in the cone. And this is the closest we got. And, and you know, this would be exactly what I was looking for, except for she wouldn't stand in place without Heather's hand on her. So we have the beautiful English Bulldog and her handler in this shot. And if you look at her right front leg, you can see where it was shaved so that they could put the IV in for her surgery. And the left front paw is where she had the surgery done. So that's why the cone of shame is on our beautiful Bulldog. So she doesn't uh, mess up her stitches there on her front paw. But uh, we had fun on the back porch playing with the camera and playing with our dog and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed those. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm gonna go in and work on them now, and I'll put them in the video right before this clip. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. There goes the leaf blower again. Bye-bye.